Scorpio. This will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So... Scorpio, Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Nine of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Girl, you must be independently abundant on your own or you're single, Scorpio. We'll find out. Scorpio, you have the Empress. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Scorpio, could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication, but this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Scorpio, you can tell me there was some immature, premature communication had here, or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the page of swords for Scorpio. It is clarified with the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Scorpio. Clarify the sun for Scorpio. Clarify the sun. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. 
Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. Clarify the star for Scorpio. It is clarified with this Empress. Again, child. I don't even know what. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship, Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. You're the Empress, Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. Clarify the Empress for Scorpio. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. So Scorpio could be dealing with a Pisces. But you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Four of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Goodness, Scorpio, I don't even know whether or not to take the angle of your abundance here. Abundance, 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 abundance here, Scorpio. Scorpio, something could have been dragging or on hold or just stagnant. And you may have gone looking for something else and you, I don't know, you get your star. You wish upon a star and your abundance is here. I don't know, Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know, Scorpio. I see it on the board. However, Scorpio, you can tell me that dealing with this Libra, this Taurus, this spouse, this parent of your child here. You know, Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys had some type of immature, premature communication. Or you went looking and spying something was illuminated here. And it caused you guys to go stagnant. You're on a break and you're needing to heal or recover individually on your own, Scorpio. I hope you're not finding out about baby mama, baby daddy to the point where you're just done and you just want to be single. We'll see. Scorpio, you have the hangman again. Like I said, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant. Something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Now, Scorpio, you can tell me you don't want to be single and you're checking this person out, looking into them because you want to be happy. That's your wish. And you're meditating on nurturing the relationship further with this person. I don't know. We'll see. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Clarify the hangman for Scorpio. Got you hanging around, child. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Didn't this fall out? Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, clarify the Knight of Cups. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Scorpio, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. A Scorpio, you may be getting some good news in here, honey, and you may have plenty of options. You can have any, many, many more. Any, many, many more. Maybe dealing with your abundance here, okay? And maybe it's just on hold while you think about it, meditate on it. Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant because of some type of lies or illusions or the fact that they had other options and explore some of those other options. And they may be coming in to apologize here. Or you're just hanging in the balance hoping that this, you're in your head fantasizing about if they will come in to apologize here. Maybe you're still looking in on them, Scorpio. 
Scorpio, you have the Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is balance, equality, reciprocity, equal give and take. This is matching the efforts, energy, time, love, patience, resources, and responsibilities in a relationship. This is balance, but this can also speak to the merchant giving to two, being generous and giving to two. This is also a payout card, a gifting someone card, assisting someone card. So Scorpio, you can tell me that something is off balance here. Something could be off balance with the giving and receiving. You may be giving something here, receiving something here. Or you're telling me that someone was giving more somewhere else, giving to two. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the Fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk. And set out on a brand new journey to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Scorpio could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me that, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war. One up and one another. Snide remarks. Having the last say. Speaking ill of one another behind each other's back. Backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games. Ego tripping. Trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games manipulation. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys had this tit for tat, tug of war, toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. However, you can tell me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here. Now, Scorpio, you can tell me that you discovered that there was some type of mind games and manipulation or some type of back and forth concerning your payout, your coins here, where you're being shortchanged here. And you're getting ready to just start new. And you have all these options. Scorpio, you can tell me that there was some type of mind games manipulation because this person took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. They were giving more somewhere else, giving to two with other options, but here they are trying to apologize. Scorpio, you have the page of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Scorpio, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument. Clarify the page of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the page of wands. For Scorpio, clarify the page of wands. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the emperor. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus, but the emperor is someone who runs empires. So, this is a boss, a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. This is usually an older gentleman. It doesn't have to be, but someone who's wise yet stern. Someone who wants complete control and authority. Hmm. Could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the emperor is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child because the emperor is a father figure. Could also be dealing with someone you work with or do business with here. <laughs> Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. Clarify the emperor for Scorpio. It is clarified with the fucking four wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Scorpio, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be about a ceremony, celebration, or even property. 
A Scorpio, you could have got into a heated discussion or argument, some type of back and forth with this emperor, someone you work with or do business with here, concerning shorting you on your coins here, Scorpio. And maybe you're going to get some good news. You're looking somewhere else, and here's all this abundance here. But Scorpio, it's showing up as the empress. You have the divine counterpart as the emperor over here. Is there an argument taking place about commitment? Because there's some type of proposal here. But I feel like they could be giving you something, bling, bling, shiny thing, Scorpio, wanting to take this risk or a chance. But you might feel like this person is pulling your leg. You feel like, okay, well, this is my wish and this will make me happy, but it's on hold right now while I think about it. Let me look into something here. Because you're questioning whether or not you want to remain single or not, Scorpio. You might feel like this person is pulling your leg if your guy is pulling one of your legs. I don't know. Or she's pulling one of your legs. I don't know, Scorpio. But it just seems like maybe we are getting in this back and forth heated discussion or argument over accepting this offer for commitment, some type of proposal here. You started off telling me, hey, do I want to be single? Am I good on my own? But then the second sentence is this empress energy and your emperor is showing up with the four of wands. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Scorpio. Now, this is just additional messages here. Why are you giving them a hard time, Scorpio? Why are you giving them a hard time? <laughs> you like your independence, Scorpio. And it says, synchronicity, signs, 1111 333 Synchronicity, signs, 1111 333 That's my phone number. What else? For Scorpio. What else? <laughs> For Scorpio. And it says alien. Yeah, I am. Telepathic dreams and songs. Alien. Telepathic dreams and songs. You know, I just came from the store. And I'm telling you, I'm like, I don't even want to think about this person. I don't even want this person on the brain. And the song came on, honey. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's just like forcing me to think about this person. Just forcing me to think about this person. New edition, Can You Stand the Rain? If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, this will happen in the next 48 hours for January the 15th through January the 16th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j and i'll see you guys next week peace